Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Guitar Raz does not mess around, guys, because literally 30 minutes ago, as I'm recording this video, he released If Spit Out the Bone was on and Justice for All. Holy crap. I don't know if it's my favorite song off the record, but I have to say Spit Out the Bone is probably one of the greatest songs I've heard from the band in quite some time. So here I am reacting to now Guitar Raz's version, If Spit Out the Bone was on and Justice for All. So far... These versions he's done where he's taken the newer songs from Hardwired and put them in Injustice for All tone have been amazing. So I'm excited to hear what he does to spit out the bone. Okay, let's get into it now, guys. Let's see what it sounds like in the Injustice for All tone. Uh, I'm excited. Okay, anyways, let's go. Switched up that. Yep. Oh! Okay, so we actually have the actual intro, but he started it differently. I knew it would sound good. A little bit faster too, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit faster. I just love how Metallica started the song this way. I just love that. It's it's so different, but it's it, it's a they've done it similarly to where they build up to the main riff in the intro type fashion, but just this way is just a little bit different, and it's awesome. Not gonna lie, the riff sounds a little bit better in Justice for All tone. One thing I wish from these Justice for All videos he does, Guitar Raz, that I wish, they, I wish he would have vocals, but there's no pulling vocals from these new uh, albums, at least not yet. But if you could pull a vocal track <laughs> and add it onto this and change it just a little bit, ooh, my god. Okay, I was wondering if it was a switch that, but I wanted to pretend like I'm playing it as whatever. That makes it. Ooh! Oh, he added double bass. Nice. He's just so damn good. He's just so good at it. And he did this one fast, too. Holy crap. Maybe, maybe, maybe not as fast. Uh, maybe he's done. Maybe this is around the same speed as the other ones, but yeah, he's at double bass there. Oh, the bass is so low. <laughs> I was wondering if he was gonna put it up in the mix, but it just is for all tone. The bass has to be really low. You can barely hear that. Wow. Oh, oh, oh my god. Jesus. That riff. This riff sounds so good in the Justice for All tone. Wow. How he's going to switch the solo. Add some toms there. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if he's going to link... Uh, this uh, section longer. No wonder. Harmonizing. There we go. Yeah. Wow. Jesus. Nope. In. Extended. Wow. 
I just love that Lars added the double bass into the second part of this uh, middle section with the, with the lyrics, vocals. I'm trying to think of the word. listen to the song almost non-stop at this point. Not this Justice for All version, but the actual song itself. I've heard it so many times now. I, it's, it's on repeat. I guess I can't get enough of it. Differentiating to a little bit. Okay, um, Guitar Rass is probably gonna comment saying, "Dude, you're so fucking fast with your reaction." Of course, because Guitar Raz, man, you are the you are the man. Guitar Raz is the man. Of course, this video is linked at the top description. Please go listen to it on his channel and subscribe to him. He's he has eight that at this point he has eight thousand subs, eight thousand and twenty five from what YouTube is telling me. He needs more than eight thousand subs. He needs more subs than me. He really does. This man is amazing. He is so good at what he does. And, you know, there are some people out there that don't like this concept. They think it's gotten old, this whole take new songs and place them with different tones of their older records, specifically Justice for All, because that's what he's done mostly. For me, it's like this. I'm a fan of all, t all, the, all like the entirety of Metallica essentially Saint Anger eh. I'm a fan of a couple of the tracks but there's remastered versions where you can hear better quality versions of the songs where they don't sound as bad but for me I love the older stuff I love Load and Reload I love it for what they are I'm not sitting there listening to Load and Reload and comparing it to the older stuff I love the newer stuff Death Magnetic and now Hardwired so to me there's there's a way because a fan guitar Raz and other people. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened, but my phone randomly stopped recording me. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. What I was saying is that if there was any way, whether it was a fan or some other way, I could hear these newer Metallica songs, but hear them in a different way, like the Injustice for All tone that Guitar Raz has done. Then I want to hear it because I love the newer stuff. I love the sound quality. In my personal opinion, I love how hardwired sounds. But if I'm able to hear that in a different way, kind of like how I love the Injustice for All tone, if there was a way to kind of mash them together with the Injustice for All tone and the sound quality with these newer songs and bring them together in this type of way like Guitar Raz has done, I personally am going to love it because I love all of Metallica. So if, if I'm able to hear these songs in a different way besides covers on YouTube, but a different way entirely like changing the tone entirely of the song and changing some of the things within the song, like the solo and some of the ways that the actual riffs are transitioning and all that kind of stuff and adding drum parts, I'm going to love it. That's just me personally. Um, once again, Guitar Raz knocks it out of the park, in my personal opinion. He freaking 
He made this song so fucking good. Spit Out the Bone's amazing. It's such a fantastic song. And Guitar Raz just made me go, holy crap. <laughs> I don't know if he made it better, but Jesus. To me, it, it's, it doesn't sound like a completely new song. But to me, it feels like this is, to me, this is, this is what Spit Out the Bone would sound like on A Justice For All. Not just because of the tone, just some of the things he slightly did differently. Especially the solos. That, the solo work he added into this, which was pulled from other songs, really worked as well. And just some of the things he added with the drums and just the guitar sound, it just makes the, it just shows that Metallica are still writing fantastic songs because the way they sound with this tone just blows your mind. It blew my mind. Guitar Raz, I know you're watching this, dude. You are freaking amazing. I cannot wait to hear what else you're going to be doing with this Hardwire to Self-Destruct full record with the other new songs. I'm excited to hear them. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you thought about this amazing video. Like I said, go, go subscribe to Guitar Raz. He deserves your subscription. Um, I cannot wait for more Guitar Raz. I cannot wait. So there you have it, guys. That's my reaction. Holy crap. I love it. I can't wait to see more. Man. That was exciting. And I'm definitely going to listen to it again. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.